but Rose, let's get back to Rose. Um, normally it would decrease the amount of damage that you do, but Magitek, because it's like a beam attack, it doesn't it's not affected by Rose. It just goes right on through. Go Bioblast. As you can see, it does do damage against everybody. It didn't look like it was consuming anything when I used it. No type of magic points or anything like that. Go Bioblast! Easily destroyed. God, I still love that music. 32. <laughs> Wait, they got two level ups? And what's her face didn't get any? You guys suck. Biggs and Wedge, what the hell are you up to? Can I can I go in there? Ow. You guys are no fun. No fun at all. Can't go that way. Damn it, this Magitek armor is not as good as I thought it would be. We've got a trout now. What is this, uh, number five? Is this number five? It could be bow number five. Pincer attack! And this is the introduction of the pincer attack! Uh, there are technically no rows in the tip pincer attack, but... Well, I think there is some kind of a glitch to get that, uh, to, to actually work. Like, you can still do row, and it'll do some... Uh, it'll actually, like, give you all the benefits without the... Whatever, tech missile. Uh, without any of the detriment, which of course would be reduced damage. Uh, usually physical damage. Go tech missile. Holy crap. <laughs> 44 experience points. Hooray, she gained a level. And we get a tonic for that. Tonics are, of course, like potions, except less powerful. I think that's all we can do there. Pretty straightforward. But, I don't want to miss anything. This is definitely a game with an abundance of information available, and I want to utilize as much as I can. We must defend the mines! Are those werewolves that I'm up against? A uh, Vomamoth. Apparently, here... Whatever. Uh, we'll go for a Bioblast, because it does kill all of them. I can heal, definitely, but... Right now, I don't think I need to, especially with Bioblast on my side. Kills everything. Yeah, in battle they looked like mammoths. Outside of battle they look like werewolves. Maybe that's just me. Hey, more level ups. Across the board, I will take as many as you're willing to give me. Maybe not on Bigs and Wedge because I can't really equip them. But on what's her name? That does sound good. Let's just keep pressing forward. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Pretty much this is the only one I can get into, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes, this one. And now we are introduced to random battles. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what you think it would be. Let's go ahead and heal her, because she is obviously the most valuable person here, and we're just up against giant-ass rats here. We're rats, but you know, rats nonetheless. Random battles. Uh, you're not always going to see your enemy, or there's not going to be a little, I guess you could say, in-game cutscene for uh, what you do. Oh, uh, I was about to say, did, did he just not do the attack because I targeted him? No. No, okay. In this game, they do forward your attack should the enemy you select to die. It's a very, very nice mechanic. I am all for that. There are definitely some game improvements for this one. Over here, we have... An eerie glow. Uh, it's a save point. Sure, tell me about save points. You can use a sleeping bag or a tent. Sleeping bags, if I remember, are new in Final Fantasy VI. It's pretty much a tent, but for just one person. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Any, yeah, anything you've done after the save will be gone. Wait, no, level and experience will be retained? I didn't know that. I probably won't be uh, dying. Hopefully, I won't be dying throughout this, so that will not come as necessary, but hopefully... Yeah, I just didn't know that. Yeah, hopefully I don't do that, but I didn't know that, I guess, levels and, and money will stay? That's weird. I'll handle this. Stand back! I don't remember the calls, the, the call signs for... Biggs and Wedge in the movie. Weren't they red? Like red one and two? They could, no, they probably weren't one and two, but they were I think they were red something. We won't hand over the Espa. 
Welk, get him! And it's, um, I guess you could say boss time? Hold it! Think back to our briefing! What about it? Apparently they were briefed on this thing. Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning and stores the energy in its shell? Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright already. So don't attack the shell, got it. And he doesn't seem to hit that hard anyway. Alright, we'll go for a fire beam on him. And uh, yeah, another fire beam on him. And I think that's all I want to do. Uh, no, you need to heal yourself. Slime! Damn you. Alright, let's go for... Oh, crap. See, this is exactly what I was hoping to avoid. When he goes back into a shell, because the game actually does forward the enemy that you would hit, Figs is gonna go ahead and attack the shell, which unleashes Mega Volt and Wedge. Very nice, I guess. Can I use just regular cure? I don't want to. Uh, yeah, whatever her name is has magic. If you wanted to use it, but I don't feel the need to use it. Alright, so everybody heal themselves while the Welk is in the shell. You pretty much can get one attack off, almost guaranteed. Doing two can be risky at times, but we're just going to sit around here and wait. I do like that the bar is here, the, the ATV bar, the active time battle bar. Uh, fire. I believe it is on a set time. Uh, not necessarily a number of turns. I believe it is set on 10 seconds when the uh, Welk will recede. Damn it. How dare you. Uh, you just defend because I'm pretty sure you won't get your attack off. You too. All three of you attack. Damn it, Biggs. You probably could have gotten your attack off. I don't want to risk it. That is a deadly counterattack that the Welk has. Now, you can technically... What am I doing? You can technically uh, try to kill the shell as well. The shell has a ridiculous amount of HP. You'll probably spend about an hour trying to kill it. And of course, every time it comes back with a counterattack that you'll have to survive using the heal forces. But... Should you get it, you will get, uh, I believe it's a tonic. It's something very, very minor and stupid that you would not need or, or spend an hour trying to get, or you, at least you, you shouldn't. But you could. That, that, I guess you could do. Oh, no, 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 it's, uh, it's not a, it's not a tonic. It's something called a tincture, which we haven't gotten yet, so I won't go over just yet. And... In he goes. So we're just gonna wait. We're not gonna defend. Hopefully we can get another two or maybe even three attacks off when it comes out yet again. And this is the first uh, first battle that's not necessarily press X to win. Even though because it is on the Super Nintendo it's reversed for me. Uh, so it's going to be like press circle to win. Maybe I just have it uh, mapped incorrectly. But there we go. Come out. Die. Die and die. Hopefully I can get all three off before it goes back in, or it will die before that happens. He does have quite a bit of HP. We're not used to doing, you know, 150 to 200 damage to start the game. Oh shit, he hit, and oh god, he's still not dead, and he's going back inside. This does become a little bit of a tedious fight because of that. But we'll just do our normal strategy of waiting for him to come out, and then we'll try to let ev everybody get an attack in. He does have quite a bit of HP, and like I said, probably more than any boss that I know of to start the game, especially this early in the game. I mean, we're talking, what, five minutes in, and we've already got technically a boss fight? Although, like I said, the Magitek is kind of unique to this part of the game. I don't think that's spoiling too much to say. This is not something that we will be doing very often. Big and Wedge, I love you guys. But, that way do. down goes the Welk. It took you down.
damn long enough. Like I said, you could also try to go for the shell, but no. Just, just don't. And you get a potion for defeating that boss. Alright, let's just continue on. Try to head up here. Can't go. Wait, can I go just straight up? I thought I could. And we have more new enemies. We have Vaporites here. I'm going to buy a Blossom in the face, and hopefully that will work out well for me. I think it will. Like I said, pretty much everything here is a one-hit kill. I don't want to say this is impossible to lose, but it is very, very difficult to lose. You have to not know what you're doing as you're going through, I would think. Oh, I can just head up that way. What is that? It's a frozen something. Oh, this is the frozen Esper. What the hell's going on with it? And it's boss time again? Except for we can try talk. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? The the hell? Is he t he's talking to the girl? Frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? The creature. V Voir? Oh, shit. That does not look good. Wedge, where are you? What's happening? You just got disappeared. What's your name? Do you have something to say? I don't know what happened. Did, did, did it attack? Was that a lightning attack? I didn't see a number. Looks like it wiped her out. She's passed out. Bad. Did she need to be saved? I don't know, but we got right up. Does she have a name yet? No. She's level four, though. That's pretty good. H how you doing? Where am I? Whoa. Oh, just removed the crown. Ah, oh, he took her slave crown off. Head hurts. Yeah, that easy. This is a slave crown. It has had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire, and born with the gift of magic. N n no, that's not her name. Terra? No. Hold on while I do enter in her real name. 